Hi, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel where I will share with you my love for books, art, stationery, coffee, travel, and more. I am wearing computer glasses, everyone. It's just computer glasses to protect my eyes from all these bright lights. So today, I am so happy to have been able to receive, finally, the January box of Mermaid Crate, which has the theme of rice. So I can't wait to open this with you guys. That's why I'm not going to dilly-dally anymore, so let's go! Let's first unravel this, shall we? Right, so as usual, we have their box with their lovely logo right here. And I also ordered a, a t-shirt. I actually forgot what the design of the t-shirt is, mind you, because it's that long. Uh, opening it and... Uh, okay, the first thing I see is the t-shirt. Wonderful. Go away, I'm reading. I like that it's very simplistic, but I, I hope that it was a little bit bigger, you know, so that people who are nearsighted could see. But that's it. I think I think this is a comfy shirt. I'm not sure if it's cotton though. There's no tag at all. They removed it. So that is the first item in the box. We have the thank you card with the theme of the box, which is pink and ooh, is this? A phoenix? Looks like a phoenix to me. The yellow part here looks like a phoenix to me. It's the first box of 2020. Hooray! Thank you so much, Mermaid, for being with us on the first box of the new decade. We couldn't be more happier to be with you on this one. We hope that our featured book will help you find the strength within you and help you rise from all the hardships you've experienced last 2019. Mind you, the hardships started 2020. Thank you so much, Mermaid, for sticking with us. We love you, Mabuhai Alona. Welcome, and I am so excited to see what's inside this box. Okay, what is this? First blood, February 2020 theme. Get yours now at... It's an ad. That's a first. That's an ad here. Okay, it says here, rice from the ashes. I was wrong. I, it's not just rice, it's rice from the ashes. Silly me. This is very fitting for what has already happened and what is currently happening? 2020 didn't start very well, did it? Right, I will read this later, but oh wow. This is the first time I've seen this box this full. I smell some... Hmm? Oh! <laughs> the dog in me is sniffing something very, very nice. Okay, a lot of items seems to be in here and they're very well packed. Oh my goodness, is this a mug? Looks like a mug. A mug! I hope it's nice. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little bit excited about mugs lately. Ceramics, I love them. So let's just first check this one out because it's already in my hands and I'm just it's so excited. It's a mug because this is the handle over here. I, I have no words for my excitement. I see green. I see mugs are green. Oh! Oh! Too bad! I'm not a Slytherin, but it says here, do you mind if I Slytherin? I've seen this many times. This is a very funny line. Very witty if you ask me. Do you mind if I Slytherin? I don't know what they used for this, but it's like a stick on. So I don't think I'll be using this as a mug. I think it's a very nice display. Too bad it's not Ravenclaw, but it's okay. Up next is another thing wrapped in bubble wrap and I can see what is inside almost. What I cannot see is where I can peel this off. Okay, here maybe. Ooh, is this a scrub? <gasps> it's a bat salt scrub. I love bat salt scrubs. And it says here Magnus Bane. Hi Warlock. Mermaid Crate exclusive lavender bath salt scrub. 200 grams. Ingredients, Epsom salt, dead sea salt, fragrance oil, lavender buds, and rose petals. Ooh, that is strong. It's not pure lavender. It just smells like some sort of a fragrance oil that I cannot place because... <laughs> it's too strong. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells strong. Strong. Yeah, we have rose petals petals right here and a little bit of 
those lovely lavender buds um, and Epsom salt. It looks like it's too moist, but upon feeling it, I don't think it's moist. I think it's just the fragrance oil. Yeah, it is the fragrance oil. Next, we have another thing wrapped in a brown paper bag. Everything is wrapped. I love it. That's the spirit. Okay, there's no beautiful way of unwrapping this. Let's just tear it. Oh, whoa, coffee. I need coffee in my life. It says, may caffeine be ever in your favor. <laughs> I just had to use the voice. May caffeine be ever in your favor. Benguet blend ground coffee. Okay. It has the Mockingjay pin right over here. That is cool. Uh, the packaging is very simple. It's just a simple Ziploc bag, but that is thoughtful because we need Ziplocs, right? Um, oh, everything is smelling like Epsom salt and, and, and bath salt scrub here. So I can't smell the coffee very well. Let me see. Oh, ooh, that is strong. Everything in this box smells strong. That wakes me up a bit. I want to have another cup of coffee. I need more. I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy, guys. Yeah, that is coffee. Like a lot of coffee for me. Next one is, ooh, we have bookmarks. And once more, I can say they have improved with the bookmarks. Laminate. As, no, it's still laminate. What I like about this is the print has improved a lot. It's time to connect the stars in my constellation. I'm not sure what book this line comes from. Um, probably I haven't read it. I haven't read a lot of YA books, people. I'm not a booktuber or a bookstagrammer. I just am a free-range reader, so I don't have this long list of TBR to, to read in a set period of time. I want the freedom to choose what time, which book, and where I will read them. Or reread them. I always reread books that I like, so it's not something you want to know, right? <laughs> this has a combination of the orange, the red, the pink, and the violet or purple right here. Gradient. Love it! The other one says, oh, it's the theme, Rise from the Ashes. I like the color. That's what I can say about this. I wonder what character this is right in the middle of this phoenix. Okay, the next item is a printout. I forgot what kind of paper this is. Um, it, it seems like it shimmers. Shimmering splendid paper. And I've seen this character in their, I think it's a hoodie. They sold a hoodie. I'm not sure if they're still selling it. And a shirt, I think they have a shirt. If I'm wrong, it's the hoodie. So, I uh, forgot. I actually forgot who this character is. I'll just read it in the um, spoilers. So, let's go to the next items. And the two characters are glaring up at me. Okay, I'm confused. Who is this? And this. I can't remember who the artist is supposed to be for this month or for the month of January. I'll see who these are in the spoilers, okay? I'm, I'm not sure about them. Right, what is this? When the world denies you choices, you make your own. Girls of paper and fire. Oh, that's a bold statement to say. I like that. Okay, we have the book, of course. And oh my, and we have here the author's, author's letter. Hello to my wonderful readers in the Philippines. Hi. Thanks for supporting Mermaid Crate and thank you for supporting all my books over the years. Infinity Sun. Oh, I just read the spoiler, my goodness. I shouldn't have read this first. I'm so sad, but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Infinity Sun is my fifth novel and my first fantasy book, but if you're not big on fantasy, I believe you'll still enjoy this book because I can easily see these characters existing in my other novels sans powers. Hope you enjoy, be the hero. Next time, I will not read the author's letter first, okay? No, no ma'am, no sir. <sighs> okay, it's upside down like always. I always open my books upside down for some reason. I don't know why. Right, it's Infinity Sun. Oh my goodness, I was planning on buying this, but I didn't. Who will live forever and who will die trying? Who will live forever and who will die trying to live forever? Isn't that an irony? 
A S. I guess that's the um, name. Adam Sil Adam Silvera or Adam Silvera. One brother is the chosen one. The other has to make a choice. Are they twins or are they just brothers? If they're twins, it's it's gonna be interesting. All right. Ever since they were young, brothers Emil and Brighton have idolized the Spellwalkers, a vigilante group sworn to protect the world from specters. While the Spellwalkers and other Celestials were born with supernatural powers, specters take them, violently stealing the essence of endangered magical creatures. A gang of specters is growing bolder by the day, and the fear they sow is making it harder for anyone with powers to live peacefully and openly in the world. Shortly after their 18th birthday, Emil and Brighton are attacked by a specter, and in trying to defend his brother, Emil manifests a power that shouldn't be possible. Phoenix Fire, a power that only a specter could have. Oh, that's intriguing. Convinced that he is the key to finally ending the war, the Spellwalkers want Emil to join their ranks and they're willing to take Brighton too if that's Emil's condition. For Brighton, even if he's powerless, the chance to fight specters with his heroes is a dream come true. For Emil, the constant fighting and the painful new power is a waking nightmare. Much as they hate to admit it, the brothers are faced with an undeniable fact. One of them has what it takes to be a hero, but it's not the one who desperately wants it. Balancing epic and intensely personal stakes, best-selling author Adam Silvera's Infinity Sun is a gritty, fast-paced adventure about a magical war generations in the making. Brotherhood, love, and loyalty will be put to the test and no one will escape to fight unscathed. Ooh. Hello, so the camera stopped. What a surprise. I don't know where we were. <laughs> where were we? I was looking at the uh, hardcover and we have here at uh, the spine, it says here Silvera, that's the author's last name, Infinity Sun as the title of the book, and the publisher Harper Teen. The last time, um, I wasn't able to notice, I didn't realize there was a stamp of Mermaid Crate in one of the pages of, oh, 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 see? surprises inside books they're the best we have here the book plate the signed book plate and everyone I touch burns it's an art print that's cool okay let me check oh yeah I was right they have a dry stamp or the dry seal yeah it's a dry seal so that is cool that is what we have in the Rise from the Ashes box of Mermaid Crate for January 2020. And all I can say is that I love what it, what's inside this box. The only regret I have is I spoiled this for myself. I read the author's note with the title of the book written on here. Why? I'm looking for the spoiler paper, which is right here. It says here, January, Rise from the Ashes box contents. What if you possess a power you never wanted? The weight of the world on your shoulders that you ever asked for. Never, I think. The weight of the world on your shoulders that you never asked for. Do you walk away or do you use it for the betterment of the world? Find out what happens with brothers Emily and Brighton in Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. We also got you a signed book plate to accompany the book. Thank you. To show me support and love for the Filipino readers, Adam wrote an exclusive letter just for you and I know, I know. Believe me, I noticed. I still remember the time that I asked, maybe I hoped for something like this as an author's letter, something that feels like a letter, and they have responded to that, and I'm so grateful and happy that it happened. Adam also wants to show his thanks to you by giving an exclusive pre-order art print of Infinity Sun. Guessing this is the one. Oh, at the back says Epic Reads. A Mermaid Crate box won't be complete without our signature BOTM inspired bookmark by Alaris. We also got you a theme-inspired bookmark too. Okay, so these are the two bookmarks here. To celebrate the release of the much-awaited second book of Carry On Wayward Son, we had a Baz and Simon character card made just for you, designed by Kyle Falasso. Okay, so these are the characters. I don't know these guys yet because I haven't read the book, even, you know, I haven't read the book. We are so happy to introduce a new item that we've never included before. Yeah. Indulge yourself in the heavenly lavender scented. Oh, it's lavender scented? Bath salt scrub with lavender buds and rose petals. This is inspired by everyone's favorite high warlock, Magnus Bane from the Mortal Instruments. If irritation occurs, please discontinue use. Well, 
There's a disclaimer written right here. <laughs> let these words give you inspiration to always think out of the box and don't let the norm decide for you. Girls of Paper and Fire inspired art print designed by Mermaid Crate. This one. Uh, don't deny it, we all got some Slytherin blood in us. Harry Potter inspired mug designed by Mermaid Crate. This is lovely, by the way. It's The color is just... The color is not an annoying shade of green. It's actually a very nice shade of green. What's a mug without a drink to accompany it, right? Yeah, I know. Pull an all-nighter with our book pick with the help of this Benguet Blend coffee. Yeah, yeah, inspired by the Hunger Games. Oh, that's just wrong side. Don't forget to brew it. May caffeine be ever in your favor. It's time for me to choose which one is my best or my most favorite item. Not a question. This is my favorite item in this box. And my least favorite item, let me say, is just this art artwork because um I don't know them yet and um I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to use them. I think I have to start a collection of bookmarks and probably maybe in a year or a couple years time maybe I can do a bookmark haul. That's a thing, right? It's happening guys. I, I started with not having any bookmarks to many bookmarks now. Yeah, what do you think about January's box? I love it. Um, they really have stepped up their game, Mermaid Crate. They started with simple prints and uh, a few items here and there, but never... I, this is my first time seeing a mug and uh, a body scrub right here, maybe because it's just my third box, hey? I'm not sure about their past boxes, but I really love that they included items like this in this box. Also, oh my goodness, Banget Blend. I can't wait, I can't wait. I am so going to drink coffee today. I need to be awake. Guys, you have no idea how sleep deprived I am the past few days. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I really did enjoy my box for January and I hope to see more, you know, level ups in the next box. That would be great. I mean, I, I love to support um, local subscription boxes here because it's such a challenge for these types of businesses to flourish in the Philippine market. Really, really, I've been thinking a lot about that. Um, and I'm happy that Mermaid Crate has started to step up their game. So that's it for this video. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. If you like this video, please click the like button because I need some love. Really, I do. And also, if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos, I have a lot of projects coming. Mind you, I do have a lot of boxes. They're, they're listed. They will come. But please, click on that notification bell. Also, if you'd like to be a part of Purple Kai Studio, see more of my unboxings, my reviews, my weirdness, and my box here and there, please subscribe because it is free. So, bye! <laughs> is it... Does it disturb you? Motorist? Motorist passing by, does it disturb you? Let's put it somewhere. Ow, just... I, um, okay. I hurt myself. Uh, hello? Tape. I need coffee. No, I don't need, I need coffee. Yeah, okay. Well, it says here, January, rise from the ashes. I haven't gotten around to doing my art yet because, oh my goodness, lots of things. Lots of things, baby. Also, also, and also, you can follow me. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too hyper. I have a lot of things to do. <laughs> I'm so hyper. I should stop this. But please, forgive me. What is your genre? I really didn't expect the name of the book to be written on here. <laughs> ah! Why? Why, Adam Silvera? Why? <laughs> and why did I pick it up and read it first before the book? Because, because the book is wrapped. It should have been the last item, right? I'm ranting and I'm done with my video, but I'm still ranting about that spoiler that I had. Like, that was a surprise that just jumped right in my face. Right in my face. My glasses keep on slipping down my nose. What's the problem? Is the bridge of my nose not enough for you? No, just that. How? How, how, the carabao, the batutin. Si pit na mimili, pit kin, pot pula, where will I put you? There you go. Bye!